we have been studying this Pathana for a long time. Pathana means the conditional relations, the relationships between various mental factors which arise in mind, which arise in nature. What are the various possible relations between them? So, 24 such conditionalities have been identified. What are they? I'll just recite them respectfully. Etu Pachyo, Aramanu Pachyo, Adipati Pachyo, Anantar Pachyo, Samanantar Pachyo, Sajata Pachyo, Pachayata Pachyo, Asevanu Pachyo, Kammu Pachyo, Upaka Pachyo, Ahara Pachyo, Indriya Pachyo, Jhana Pachyo. So you have done up to, let me see, I think I missed out on some. We have done up to Jhana Pachyo. Let me recite again. Let me recite the 24 because then otherwise then I will not forget. <laughs> Etu Pachyo, Aramana Pachyo, Adipati Pachyo, Anantara Pachyo, Samanantara Pachyo, Animanya Pachyo, Nisaya Pachyo, Upanisaya Pachyo, Purejata Pachyo, Pachayata Pachyo, Asevan Pachyo, Kamma Pachyo, Paka Pachyo, Ahara Pachyo, Indriya Pachyo, up to that we end up. We have, uh, these are the various ways by which the conditionalities operate. So these were, I think, put down in the very first. Let me come down to that also. We have put down all the 24 here. I think it will be good if you all recite it together. Page number, sir? 26. Those who should recite it together, they may be. I'm missing out some of them today. 26 or 36? Page, yeah. oh, slide number 26 has the list of all of them, various pachyas. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's up. Call the chambis. 26. So let us together recite then. Arpan would recall, these are the prachyas which are revealed to the Lord in Ratnagara, where we had the privilege of meditating some two days back. And while I was uh, feeling that uh, we didn't bring the whole thing with us and we should have recited it, whole of this, after one hour, we were about to get up and then came a big gin, group of uh, Thai monks and they recited the whole Pathana there. So we sat and, and were really grateful for that. So this is the kind of, uh, you know, preface. These are the 24 list of them. Then there is the explanation. read out all the details of each of them. So wholesome path has in this 82 if you see I have mentioned. Eightfold noble path are all these wholesome chetsikas which we know. Uh, they are all magachittas. They are concomitant chetsikas and shahjat rupas are pache upanna dhammas. So what unwholesome path is there are these four main additional factors. Michya ditti, michya sankappa, michya vayama, michya samadhi. And of course, you may say, what happened to other? He says, there is nothing like Michasati. 
So, so sati cannot be mitcha, so sati is not present in the... Instead of this, there is mit, wrong attention. And uh, he says wrong speech, wrong action and wrong livelihood are not specific chetsikas. They only come, are the results of Akushala chetsa. So, so they should not, there is no need to include them. So he adds the factors, mental factors into the list. Because he, he says the sati can only accompany shobhana chitta, you know, beautiful chitta, it cannot be unwholesome. So wrong, wrong holds, uh, mindfulness actually means lack of mindfulness, which is presence of lobha and things of that kind. And we have the Sampayutta Chitta. Sampayutta means associated. So you'll see now again the same kind of uh, you know, similarity with power, things which you have already studied. Chattaro khanda aripino annyamanyang sampayutta pachayena pachayo. So chattaro khanda means four khandas, four uh, arupino, non-material khandas, which means Vedana, Sanya, Sankhara and Vinyana. They relate to each other by reciprocity association. The association actually means togetherness which occurs in such a way that they arise together, pass away together and take same sense object and depend on the same sense base. So this is the definition of association. So here the, the conditioning dhamma is one of the four nam khandas, that is one of these four arupino khandas and conditioned dhammas are the three others. Uh, if you remember, this is quite similar to reciprocity condition which you already said, which in fact is coming, uh, annyam annyam is also coming there. And the, what is then the difference between this and sahajata because they seem to be all arising together also. I have tried to put it in the next place, next slide. That the difference between the sampayutta pachyo and sahajata pachyo is a very delicate one. That in the association conditions, the namas, jitta and chetsika arise and pass away together. In the sahajata condition, that is connaissance, they arise together and there is no mention of whether they pass away together or not. So that is the differentiation which is done. So, when the differentiation arises basically because of rupas, you know, rupas have a much higher time period. They arise for a last for 17 mind moments and therefore they cannot pass away along with the chitta which arises simultaneously with them. And that makes the difference between sampayutta and uh, the sahajata pachyo condition. So, when we uh, try to assemble them together, these small comments will be helpful to us. So I've just put those comments here. So presently they may not seem very important, but when we'll see the day-to-day -day application, we'll see that all of these factors will start coming together. Then the reverse of Sampayutta is the Vipayutta Pachyo, means dissociation. That was association, this is dissociation. Rupino dhamma, arupinam dhammanam, vipayutta pachyena pachyena. Arupino dhamma, rupinam dhammanam, vipayutta pachyena pachyena. So these are the things. What is it? Rupino dhamma means material states. They serve as con condition for immaterial states by force of dissociation condition. And on, similarly, the immaterial states also serve as a condition for material states by the force of dissociation condition. Now this dissociation condition by itself can have further subdivisions which I have put down Sahajata, Purejata, Vattu Purejata and Pachar Purejata. So it may become a bit complicated. You want us to see the uh, through applications which will become clear when we see the other slides. So Vipayutta Pachyo, first element of it I have taken here. Rupino Dhamma, Arupinam Dhammanam, Vipayutta Pachena Pachyo. So what does it mean? At the, the example which is given is that at the relinking moment, that is at the patisandhi, when a person dies and the next chitta arises, because that's a very unique kind of situation. So it is at that condition that we have these uh, uh, occurring together. He says that we are, at that moment we were just a minute compound of mental and physical phenomena called the kalala fetus. It is just a fetus, you know. Uh, and that is made up of relinking consciousness and its mental states and the heart, body sensitivity and gender. So that is the kind of 
uh, thing which exists when the conception becomes alive. Now, at this moment, our mental factors have to all depend upon the physical phenomena, that is the heart place. The two arise together, but are dissociated from one another as they are totally different phenomena. So, the body and the mind arise together because of the because there is no independence at that moment, but they are of two different kinds. So, dissociation means they are of two different kinds. So, that is the, the example given of this uh, Pachaya, Rupino Dhamma, Rupino Dhamma, Arupinam Dhamma, Nam Vipreta. Rupino Dhamma here means the heart base, the Hidevatthu as you call it. So, that becomes the base on which the mental factors reside because they have to be depend on that. So here the heart based physical phenomena serves as a condition for our relinking consciousness and its mental states by the power of own essence dissociation because it is arising together so it is sahajata but vipayutta. It is arising together and yet dissociated because it is of a different kind. So body and mind arising together? When the person is when a person is dying, then we know that there will be chuti chitta and patisandhi chitta. Now, Patisindhi Chitta cannot exist by itself, there has to be a base and that is how that base has to exist, is created by the conception in mother's womb. So that, that matter is not formed as a human being still, but it is in its uh, fetus form. So in that fetus also there is that consciousness enters and there is a Hridayavathu through, through which the mental factors are. Ah, in a sense, we are killing the person. In a sense, we are killing. Him. But that's why it is said up to certain time, form is not the hands, feet are not formed, but the consciousness is there. So, therefore, up to certain time, it is on medical ground, it is allowed. But otherwise, there, there is a death happening. <laughs> Then uh, this was of the Sahajat kind. Now we this is the of the Purajat and Vatthu Purajat. So that will understand by example. Sahajat meaning arising together because they have to arise together. There is no option. Now what is here? Same thing. Rupino Dhamma, Rupino Dhamma, Nam Vipuyipta. How does it happen? Now we can consider the six sense base. This is. You know, our eyes and uh, ears, nose and all that, they are actually Rupino Dhamma, isn't it? Now they act as a base and for all the consciousnesses which arise, our seeing, hearing, touching, they all was the base for them to arise. So then this is the condition that they have to be present for them to arise. So this becomes a pre-nation, so pure jat. Inko pehle paida hona padega, aankhe paida hongi, aankho ki to tabhi dekhna hoga. So in that sense it is pure jat. And since the eye is an object, so it is also Vathu Purajat, it is an object which forms the uh, object for the uh, external world. Similarly, it is given the example of when we feel pain, we can be reminded that the body base is Rupa, which is dissociated from painful feeling, which is Nama. The body base conditions the painful feeling by way of pre-nascent dissociation condition. So, whenever we have a pain in our body, physical pain due to meditation or due to other time, if we see it in that sense properly, the body is the already existing and the feeling is arising based on that body. Isn't it? So, it is a pre nascence condition, it is a pure jata condition. It is body has to be exist and then only feeling arises. But they are of two different kinds. Body is of one kind and feeling is of another kind. So, it is dissociated from. So, in that sense, it is said to be dissociated. So, then the, let us take the other part of the... There were two sentences, so let us see the other sentence. Arupino dhamma rupinam dhamma nam vipayutta pachye na pachye. This was... Previously, we take rupino dhamma. Now, we are taking arupino dhamma. That is the chitta and chetsikas. Rupinam dhamma nam. They become a condition for the arising of rupas, arising of the uh, material, materiality you can say, by vipayut pachena pachya. And there again, here mostly it is sahajata, is the 
additional factors. So, for example, the various mental states which arise, they are a condition for mind generated matter. We know, already studied it you know, earlier that the whenever a mind state arises, it conditions the physical body. When we get angry, body becomes in some way red and flushed and this and that. When we are calm, body becomes of a different kind. The forehead changes, this, this, the halo of the body changes. So, that is the Rupino Dhamma created by Arupino Dhamma. So, mental state is creating those and they will always rise together. So, this will be a case of Sahajata Vipa Yutta Pachaya. So, it becomes, you can see, Sahajata is also occurring, Vipa Yutta is also occurring. And the conditions are kind of joining together. Then another example is of Pacha Jata I have taken. Arupino Dhamma, Arupinam, Dhammanam, Vipa Yutta Pachya and Pachya. Same thing. Now here the example which is given is <coughs> the four subsequent mental aggregates are a condition for <coughs> material phenomena by the power of post nascent dissociation condition. The here four subsequent mental aggregates including <coughs> 85 consciousnesses and 52 mental states that arise in 1 to 16 mind movements later than mind generated by them, matter generated by them. You know this I think we had discussed it already <coughs> also when we talked about Aripuno Dhamma. <coughs> that the Rupas have a 17 mind movements lifetime. So, a rupa which may be generated at time 0, for example, at time 1, will last for 17 mind moments. So, a, <coughs> a mental state will arise, say, after one mind movement or after two mind movements, after three mind movements, that will also have its effect on rupa and the rupa which was generated much earlier. So, a mental state which arises later is affecting the rupa which is arose much earlier. Sounds very uh, illogical if you look at it purely from logic. But if you see the way mind states function and the physical matter functions, you can see that there can be a pacha jata pacha also. It can be the influence the past, it's so to say, isn't it? Something is influencing the past. A mental state arising today at this moment is influencing the uh, material state which arose 10 mind moments earlier. Because the material state has a longer duration of existence. So, till 16 times, 16 mental moments, whatever arises can influence that mind better, can influence that matter. So, that is what is meant by Pacha Jata Vipuicha. But again, they remain of different kinds. One is matter, another is mind. So, this is what is meant by the Pacha Jata Pache. Okay. Yeah, we'll stop here because then we come to the other Athi and Athi. There is some example. These are the ones which are operate in our day-to-day -day life. Mm -hmm. But they have operated at such a rapid pace that we are not able to see them. So, if you theoretically understand it, you can understand it. That the mind, which is our body's mental state, the body, प्रतिक्षण जाग रहे हैं हर एक मेंटल स्टेट के साथ जाग रहे हैं तो जो रूप इस मेंटल स्टेट के साथ जागा वो आगे आने वाली मेंटल स्टेट भी उसको इन्फ्लुएंस करेगी बस इतनी बात वो हम समझ सकते हैं क्योंकि जो रूप का ड्यूरेशन है वो 17 माइंड मूवमेंट्स का है रूप इज नॉट राइजिंग एंड पासिंग अवे एट द सेम फ्रीक्वेंसी एट व्हिच द माइंड स्टेट्स the mind states pass away at a much rapid rate as compared to the body. Sir, so, sometimes it happens that today an event happened and say two years, four years later, that emotion is full. So, that is the mental state. 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 तो वो उसका फल अब जाके प्रकट हुआ बहुत पुराना हमने कोई कर्म किया था उसका फल अब जाके प्रकट हुआ सडनली कोई बात 
ऐसी मन में खड़ी हो गई जो जिसका आसपास पे कोई अता पता नहीं ध्यान करते करते ऐसा ही होता है अधिकतर ध्यान कर रहे हैं तो पहले तो इमीडिएट पास की चीज़ें आएंगी फिर जब वो उनका असर कम हो गया तो फिर पता नहीं कहाँ की कौन सी बात याद आ जाएगी कब उसका इम्पैक्ट हो जाएगा तो जो बात हमें उस समय याद आई वो विपाक चित्त है दैट इज़ द विपाक चित्त ऑफ द पास्ट डूइंग सो दैट इज द फोर्स ऑफ ओपन कंडीशन ये यहाँ पे रूप और चित्त की बात होती है द इफेक्ट ऑफ मैटर ऑन माइंड एंड मैट माइंड ऑन मैटर दैट इज बींग डिस्कस इन डिसोसिएटेड डिसोसिएटेड का मतलब है टू डिफरेंट काइंड बट इन्फ्लुएंसिंग ईच अदर So there is a question from Deepthi. Does it mean that after death, the consciousness must take a body form as heart base and cannot stay on its own without rupa? Yeah. Consciousness cannot. The conditioned consciousness can never stay without a rupa. But that rupa could be subtle also. Yeah. Could be. इन देवलो का और ओनली वेन वन इज इन द डीप ध्यानास अरूपिनो ध्यानास देन इट कैन बी ओनली दाइंड स्टेट कैन जिता कैन स्टेट इन दैट अरूपिनो धान प्रोसेस ओवर टू अरूपिनो धान अवर नॉर्मल डोमेन्स ऑफ द सेंस डोमेन काम ऑफ जरा लोका इन द सेंसरी डोमेन्स एंड इवन इन देवा रेडम्स Even in the Rupa Brahma realms, this will have to be there. So for us, for the, in the human realm, obviously it has to be only in the Arupano Arup Lok, where the person has practiced formless meditations to such an extent that he gets totally absorbed in formlessness. Then he can be born in that. That's the theoretical mm. understanding. <laughs> any other question or comment which you wish to discuss on this you know roop is not necessarily only gross body. yeah yeah of course jo six realms hai kahi bhi ho sakta hai subtle beings are also there devas have a subtle body we listen to it in so many discourses of buddha that devas had come and illuminated the whole jetaru bar bar aata na abhi kam अभी कंत बनना अभी कंत जैतवन में बार बार ये आता रहता है कि ये देवता लोग आए और सारे जैतवन को ल्यूमिन कर दिया एंड देन दे आस्ट दिस क्वेश्चन बुद्धा रिप्लाइड एंड देट गॉट सेटिस्फाइड एंड वेंट बैक सो जैतवन हैज बीन विजिटेड बाय ऑल द देवास देवास में से भी कुछ एनलाइटन हो रहा है हां 2000 वर्ष हो गए 